got a pretty good blaze going here. We're uh, gonna burn these releases, these declarations of things that are being released, the, uh, the hurts, the offenses, the disappointments, the injustices. And we're going to these, we did these at the Dreams, Visions, and Prophecy seminar this weekend. And we're just going to throw them right in here while we got a good flame going. And uh, these are in the past. These are no longer uh, viable even. They, they don't have any part in us now. They don't have any part with us. Um, all of us that put these in the, in the garbage can uh, were throwing them away and making declarations that said, I am delivered from all that stuff. There are, I notice uh, s some cards here and uh, whatnot that have different things written on them, several things written on them. Some of them have, it looks like maybe one written on them. I'm not reading them, but I can see uh, writing, handwriting, and we are burning them. They have no place in our lives. Uh, they had no place to begin with, and they have no place now. And we're not just going to keep looking back at them and uh, wrestling with them the rest of the years of our lives. We wrestled with them long enough. Uh, these things have been wrestled with for uh, who knows how long, but uh, maybe years. Maybe these persons have wrestled with these things all their life. No more. They're going. They are going. They are have lost their grip. They have lost any effect. I declare in Jesus' name, all of these things have lost their effect even. Burned in the name of Jesus. This is uh, Scriptures for Morning Victory, number 84. And the title of this one is Forgetting What Lies Behind forgetting what lies behind. There's something very interesting in the scripture and I think you know where I'm going. Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 and 14 says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that what I have made, that I have made it my own yet, but one thing I do, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press. Philippians 3.14, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. There's a prize waiting for us. We can't, this stuff that's just burned up and turned to ash, we can't, um, we, we can't look back to that. We can't grip onto it. We can't keep it in our hearts and minds. We can't go over it, over it, and mull over it. It will defeat us. It will distract us. It will hold us back. We're letting go of it, just like Paul said, I'm letting go of what is behind. Forgetting what lies behind, I reach forward to what lies ahead. This language right here in that, that sentence that Paul said is one which was used in the uh, Greek stadium. In the Greek stadium, the, the track runner, the racer, the foot racer would run a foot race and he could not look back at what he had already run past. He could not look back at how far he had run. He could not even look back at what was who was behind him. He had to keep reaching forward. That track runner had to keep reaching forward and striving for that goal that he started out with when he heard the sound that the race was to begin. We've heard the sound that the race is to begin. It has begun. When we were born, that race began. And we are going to run, and we're going to run faithfully as Paul did. Exodus chapter 24, verse 17, to the Israelites, the glory of the Lord, it says, looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. The glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Well, maybe we need to uh, just get let the glory of God's fire burn us and burn out all of that stuff from the past, burn out all we've dealt with from the past because we are going onward and upward in the purposes of the ever expanding and ever extending kingdom of God through the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God bless you. You have victory this morning through Christ Jesus and you can forget what's behind and not worry about what's behind as you focus on Him as He leads us forward. God bless you. You have victory.